Hello everyone and welcome back to another speed build. Uh, today I am bringing you a new series and it's going to be me trying to create a world for the first time. This is the first time that I have ever worked with this program so I have a lot of learning that I'm going to have to be doing. I'm going to be doing a lot of research uh, just to try to learn and figure out how to work this program. So hopefully in the end, I am hoping uh, that we will end up with a nice world, something that others would enjoy having too. Um, I am using, I believe it's the medium size plot. Um, I didn't want to go with large because those larger worlds, those get more difficult. Uh, there's just a lot there that you have to work with and try to... Uh, you know, fill in everything. Uh, and I also wanted it to be an island. Uh, most people do islands anyway. Uh, it is a lot harder to do a world that isn't considered an island because then you got to try to get the backdrop where, you know, depending on your camera angle, you can't see the other side of your backdrop because in the you know, create a world program, there's always going to be water. You're always going to have it all the way around. You're not going to get rid of that. That is what it is. So really, it's just a matter of trying to build up the land all around it to try to help cover, you know, the surrounding water. And I really don't want to go to that extent. And I also didn't want to go with small or tiny uh, because that's actually, that's really small. Um, and I wanted to have a mountain range and mountain areas and lakes and rivers so by the end of it and you'll see when we get towards the end there's not really going to be as much in the way of a town or size like for lots and everything as what it might appear at first because I am kind of taking up and breaking it up a bit with the rivers and the lakes and the mountains I do kind of fill that in with more uh, rock formations and it does pretty much for the most part kind of shrink down the living area, the, the lots where everything can be. Uh, my idea for this world, and we'll see if I can even, if I can accomplish this. Um, the tools are kind of different from what I'm used to. I'm not used to terrain editing quite like this. This is kind of reminds me a lot of what you see. I think Sims 4 now offers a lot of train editing that's similar to this, but it reminds me of like Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo with the train editing. And I'm, even though I have those games, I really haven't tinkered around with them much. So this is kind of the first time really for me to come in here and try to create the, you know, the landscaping. I'm trying different things. Like you can see here, I am trying different things to see to try to create this mountain range to try to make it look as natural as I can. I do kind of in a way scrap this idea out. I leave a little bit of it, but as you can see, most of that's gone. Uh, I do end up trying a few other different things. Uh, I didn't realize at first about the grid. I do end up getting the grid on there. That does help a lot, especially when I'm trying to figure out the height of things because it's really hard to tell in this screen how tall something is. So I do end up getting that out to try to help a little bit with that. I try not to have it on too much because honestly the grid gets a bit annoying. I don't particularly like having it on there. Um, so depending on the angle, you know, the camera, the lines of the grid get a little, I don't know, they're not really wavy, but they're kind of, kind of like wavy. Uh, they're not really straight, so it just kind of messes with my eyes, and I can't imagine what that would do to your eyes. So I try not to use it too much, but I do put it in once I figure out where, you know, that it's there and that I can use it. Um, I do try not to have it too much. So as you can see, here I am trying to get some more mountain ranges in to try to fill up the area. I do plan on having beaches, but it's more like there's going to be kind of like the ocean beach, but at the same time there's going to be a, the beaches for the lake. Uh, I'm not sure the lake might get a little bit bigger. I do have an idea that I would like what I'm my plan is is I would like to have a waterfall that goes into that lake uh, and then you know and then it goes out into the little rivers that go you know out into the ocean and that's kind of my plan. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to execute that. We'll have to do some more research and try to figure that one out uh, but 
I'm thinking of maybe having like an area where that waterfall is going to be at. I'm thinking about having that a lot that the Sims can get to. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make it where the Sims can get up in there for, you know, to start with. But I would like it to also be able to, I don't know, like be a fishing spot up there because it's going to have another lake. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get that. I think what I got to do to, to get that to work out is actually edit that in game so I can create a pond up there I think is what I'm going to have to do because in this world editor I don't think from what I could find that I'd be able to get any water on a higher level. The only thing I could see or find was raising the overall water level and that would raise everything and I don't I don't know if that's really the way to go so I think to get that waterfall in where I want it I'm gonna need to do it in game uh, so I do have that working uh, it seems to be working really good doing it in game I got some screenshots that will come up at the end that will show you what this looks like in game and it definitely looks different uh, you think what you're doing in this terrain looks really good in the you know create a world editor here and then you put it in game and then you realize how choppy it looks and how pointy and spiky it looks so that is going to get updated or it's going to get changed i've already gone in and started working on it again to try to get the mountain ranges to look a little bit better and a little bit more natural uh because once i put it into the in game i did notice that it was pretty pretty spiky i mean it, it was i don't know if that's really what a mountain range should look like uh so i do go in and get that fixed and changed um, I'm just trying to, you know, try to figure out like a beach area. Um, I'm kind of planning or thinking, but at the same time, I want like jagged edges and steep drops, uh, and into like the ocean where there'd be more rocks like that come up. But at the same time, I want areas where the Sims can go and get in and play in the water, have a beach. I do want different levels or layers in this world because I love building on a cliff. That's probably one of my favorite type of houses to do. I love cliff lots uh, and I want to make sure that I can do something like that. However, uh, this world that I'm creating, the idea I have in my mind that I would like it to look is kind of, I guess, old fashioned back in the times. like. Horse and buggy days, I guess is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I think the only way you can have a world that has no cars, from what I've researched anyway, you have to have a mod that will stop the cars. So I don't think it's possible without mods. I'll have to do some more looking, but I don't think it's going to be possible to not have cars at all because the game just automatically generates that stuff. So, but that's kind of my idea. I'm kind of thinking like Dragon Valley vibes with this world, uh, which is why I'm trying to make this size of map appear or be smaller than what it is with the mountain ranges uh, is because if you have to use a lot of walking, bikes, horse riding, whatever your Sims use to get around, you don't want them to have to travel too far because it'll just take way, way too long. I am planning on putting in a, some of the, I don't know, I'm thinking about subways. I think that takes a different pack though than Dragon Valley or Monte Vista. Unfortunately, I think in order for my idea to work, I'm going to have to put a few things in from a different pack, like the subway, for example. I think, what does that mean? I'm not good with the packs, but I want to say that subway systems maybe came with late night. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't know 100% uh, on where some of that stuff comes from. But I like, again, I think in order for us to get this to work, we're going to have to have the subway system so the Sims can get around quicker. But I kind of want to disguise them. I'm kind of thinking putting like old buildings around them that your Sims have to go in just to kind of like give them the look of the world, even though it's a subway system. Uh, same with uh, the roads. Uh, I've done a little bit of research. I plan on doing dirt roads, 
dirt sidewalks. Uh, I did look up to try to figure out how to do that. So I do have saved in there a texture for the roads and the sidewalks to give it the dirt look. So we'll see how that works. I have not put any roads or anything in yet. So we'll just kind of see um, how that works and what it looks like. But that's kind of the vibe I'm going with and I'm planning on old looking houses. So like log cabins, uh, stone, uh, just wood planks in general. It's just something kind of older looking. Um, I don't want it to be modern looking. I just want it to look really old fashioned. Something like maybe you would see in like a like a Dragon Valley uh, fantasy world way back when is kind of my ideas. And I'm also considering, I plan on having lots that come with the world. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I believe you got to do that editing it in game. So as long as that works good, I plan on having lots already come with the world when you download it. Just a few, just enough to get you started. And I even thought about maybe placing a few families possibly in there that might help with, you know, have them dressed in the style that I'm thinking. Maybe to try to help a little bit with that aesthetically, I guess you could say the way it looks. Um, I'm also thinking that it might be fun, uh, leave it down in the comments what you think of this idea, but I was also kind of thinking maybe allowing, I don't know, maybe two or four of the lots to be built by other viewers, um, other simmers out there if they would like, maybe have like a competition or a contest where you submit your builds. Uh, I haven't decided exactly how we're going to do that for sure, but maybe have it where we can submit you know, your builds and then kind of vote over, I don't know if I'm going to have a community vote or if I'm just going to look at them and decide which ones, but then allow those builds to be in the world when others download it. And of course you'll get the credit if your build is chosen. Uh, so I'll make sure that you're fully credited for that build. But anyway, let me know your ideas of that down below uh, in the comments. Uh, any suggestions you have for this world are welcome. Any suggestions on how to use the tools in this world or how to do this and that. Uh, again, leave them down in the comments below. I'm doing a lot of work and research to try to figure it out. Um, I do apologize if you hear in the background a cat meowing and sneezing. Um, he's kind of our new kitty. Uh, I ended up getting him when my mom had passed. Uh, my stepdad felt that he would be happier here. So he's my mom's kitty. He's a rag doll. Uh, and he's quite mouthy and always thinks he needs to be wherever I am. So if you happen to hear him, uh, he does also sneeze a lot. So if you hear the sneezing or the meowing, that's probably him in the background. Um, but anyway... We are getting pretty close to the end of this video. I don't want these videos to be too super long. Um, for, I wouldn't really be too sure of what to talk about really either if the videos were too long with something like this. And I don't want to. I don't want this series to be boring either. So uh, I don't want to keep them, you know, too super long. So again, you know, comments, suggestions, anything is welcome down below. Uh, we are. This is the world so far. Uh, here are the screenshots of it and you'll see how spiky and bumpy those mountains are. I do go in and fix for the most part those. So uh, again, you know, any suggestions below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do my best to keep it as close to base game. But unfortunately, I am going to have to have some stuff from other packs in it for this idea to work. And from my research, I'm researching on the terrain paints. From what I have been seeing and what I've heard in other videos and reading in other areas, the terrain paints, the textures, I can use from any other pack and it won't require that pack. So again, let me know down below for sure and I will see you next time. Bye!